by my estimation, Nigerians are not yet conscious or conversant with the role of National Assembly. We are used to having the judiciary and the executive. I am of the opinion that I agree totally that we should all be prudent, but it's not possible for the National Assembly not to buy cars. But the type of cars matters. At this time that we are talking about economic crunch, we must not buy cars that seem, I mean, that is seen as being too exotic or what have you. In the Seventh Assembly, that's what we did. In the House of Representatives, we bought Camrys rather than buy SUVs or what have you. I want to bring to your notice sir, that Nigerians should look at this. We have 774 local governments, local government areas in Nigeria. And I, if, you, if, you, if you estimate, if you calculate the amount of it, it costs to buy cars for chairman of those local government, you, you will see the exorbitant amount it is. So when you, th when you think of 360 hours of remember 109 senators, it looks big and huge. However, I agree in total, what are the kind of cars that will be purchased? We must scale down. Yeah, but if we're also talking about waste, uh, you know, waste, cutting down wastage, which is another area that Ni Nigerians would also li like the National Assembly to look into. Would you say that the National Assembly has succeeded in cutting down waste in that particular area? In which particular area, or generally, or in the car? In the Especially car in terms of cars, because it was seen that this is a recurrent budget issue. Uh, the, the challenge, and unfortunately, the challenge with democracy is that it's expensive. The moment you elect new members, I'm privileged to be a returning member, but if, when you elect new members who have responsibility or carry out certain functions, you must provide vehicle for them. All I'm saying is that what are the kind of cars that we purchase? I am very sure that the leadership of the House of Representatives and even the Senate will understand that this is not the time to buy so, I mean, cars that will I mean, massage anybody's ego. We should, buy, we should be utility cars that will not be owned by members. It should be National Assembly owned cars. I, I think we're getting something. Uh, conf hmm. uh, get it clear for us. Clarify for us. Are you saying that uh, this has to do with the, the National Assembly or the individuals? Now we're talking about the legislators. The cars, we understand from uh, Senator, that they're meant for uh, task to be carried out by the assembly members. Uh, we have seen them when they go for oversight in long buses. And are we talking about the long buses for oversight function or cars for personal use, maybe your day-to-day -day running of affairs for the National Assembly? Yeah, the buses... The buses are not that enough for the members. In, but uh, let's be say that it is not possible in this age that you have elective officers like of, of National Assembly status. Don't forget, in the other protocol, National Assembly nationally, even as a, is ahead of a minister, is ahead of a minister. So what I'm saying is that in scaling down, I agree in scaling down, but is it possible to get an elected officer at the level of National Assembly without providing vehicles for him? That is all unfortunate thing about democracy. It's expensive. I just alluded, I just gave you an instance of an uh, example of a local government chairman. 774. Most of them drives a Prado. Multiply you know, you know uh, Honorable Tajuddin, the issue here is not that Nigerians don't want uh, its legislators uh, to drive cars. They're looking at the economic situation in the country you. at this point in time. You still can't hear me. I, I hear his face. Is it better now? Yeah, it's better. Good. Uh, I'm saying uh, that Nigerians are not saying that uh, the legislature shouldn't get cars. They're saying, uh, is it right for us to get cars at this point in time? And in any case, what has happened to the cars that were purchased in the last uh, dispensation? Uh, I will not be in the right position to understand some of this question. But the truth of the matter is that 
if you have a car for four years, I think if you have a car for four years, it is, I understand that even ministers, which we should be looked into, that use cars for like two years and what have you, you could have come up with a policy for National Assembly. The cars for four years, after four years, either you change the engine, do refurbishment, so that the, those who are coming next can still use it. Because the unfortunate scenario we have now is that the labor rate of turnover is high. You have, in the present house, you have about 70% of the seventh assembly member not returning. So most members now are new members. If you have a consistency like other democracy, where you have reasonable numbers of national assembly returning, we can come to, I mean, we can come to term with this suggestion of making sure that this vehicle are sustainable over a session to another session. But is a developing democracy. And I agree that we have this challenge. Dennis, and I'm not in any way exonerating us that we must sit down and be more prudent and scale down some of these things. I agree with you, Toto, but you must provide vehicle for them. If we're talking about provision of vehicles, uh, the, those that have gone away, about 80% of them who didn't return, uh, they all went uh, with the vehicles because uh, they were sold out to them. Uh, the money is accrued from such sales. Where do we have them lodged? It goes into the federation account. And uh, this uh, budget for new cars, uh, is it uh, in addition to what I has been a, a moment? Um, you still can't hear me? Is it better now? Yeah, better than I can hear you now. All right, thanks. Yeah. The, the amount uh, gotten from the sales of cars, from those about 80% of them who didn't return, is it in addition to what uh, budget we're having for the new cars we want to get for the new senators, I mean the new legislators? The law, the constitution stipulates clearly all monies are domiciled in the fractional account. So as I... When those vehicles were sold, the money generated went straight to federation account. It's a whole something. If the National Assembly does not retain those monies and not add to it to buy the award, it goes to the federation account. It becomes a national revenue. How are they sold? Uh, is it percentage wise or do they sell them? You know, sometimes uh, some say that they are sold out in some ridiculous price you can ever think of. Uh, is that true? I, what, what I know, the little I know is that there's a department in Federal Ministry of Works that does valuation. Each of these, all over, when you say government vehicles, the valuations are done. And uh, at, at times, they bring in the vendor valuers to do valuation. And whatever amount each of those cars, because the, the cars might not be in the same state. They might not be in the same uh, condition. So each car is value on its merit, on its strength, on its capacity, on the, the present condition it, it, it is at the time it has been sold. What, what brand uh, of cars uh, did we have in the last dispensation? Uh, hello? What brand of cars did, we, uh, did the National Assembly procure in the last uh, dispensation? Camry. Uh, Camry? Hello? Camry, yeah. right? Toyota Camry. Yes, Toyota Camry. So, so what's the list that uh, was valued by the ministry? Hello? What's the list cost that was valued by the ministry? 